All right, so let's see. I'm going to try to ramble. Okay, so I'm going to try to ramble through some of the questions that I remember. I wish they had the, the chart with me. I was just know you, the book, oh my goodness, the book had all, you had to use it a bunch. And it's, they, there was one in particular, um, I don't remember which airport it is. It's one, it's one of the ones, you're in a class B airspace, and it had a whole bunch of layers, and it had a, an airport in it called Hicks Airport, and you had to tell the... The, the bottom of Hicks Airport. It was really close to a Class D, which would have gone down to surface level, but it was not in the Class D. And where you have your little fraction kind of deal where the bottom is the, the, the bottom of that part of the pie, I'll say, or that part of the wedding cake, and then the top, it, it was one of those, but it wasn't near where the Hicks was. It was, it was way, way, way far on the other side. You literally had to follow and make your way through all of these numbers and lines and it was strange because you're following along and all of a sudden there'd be a line right in your way like oh they can't go that way you had to take a left and oh it was awful trying to find your way around through that i think that if i remember right the answer to that was four thousand feet which was seemed really high but anyways um it was a tough one it really was uh, let's see let's let's go through some of these others there were there were a few questions about class E, but it was more that class E was the answer, and it gave you all these hints about asking you what kind of airspace are you in. Um, it had a lot of a lot of night time. It had a it had one about your remote ID. It was talking about if you are in a Freya, or no no you're not in a Freya, okay. And your remote. All right, you need to know what what is broadcast by your remote ID. And I'm not sure if I got that one right or wrong. And I whittled it down to two answers. One was you ha it had the remote ID, or no, 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 it had the basically the certificate number, your Part 107 number, or it had to have the registration of the actual. Um, drone itself. I remember that, and I, I really, I wasn't sure on that one. I remember coming across it in my studies, but I, I was not a hundred percent sure. I didn't spend a lot of time on the remote ID. I think I spent more time looking at people griping about the remote ID than anything, which is really kind of funny. Um, it's here. Know about it. Gripe about it if you want, but if you get caught not doing it, you're gonna get in trouble. I don't know. Um, I know the drone that I have right now is a Mavic 2. It doesn't have it. Um, so I'm going to have to do something about that, sell it, or do something. I don't know. All right, what else? The test. Uh, let me just think for a minute. Oh, I had, all right, on the map, and I, I don't know if I can get this one right or not. So I had one of those areas where it was a magenta color, but it looks like a comb to me, where an area was was outlined by this line with these like a comb fingers coming down and the answers i'm thinking military area it's a no-fly area there's something special going on in there but it gave the dancers it had like a military area and it had it had a whole sentence that went with it but then i remember c was saying that it was also potentially invisible obstructions in the air like artillery so that that reminds me of you know, maybe military on both ends, but at the same time, I began to think, well, maybe it was like a shooting range or something like that too. I, I don't know, and I just, I stayed confused on that one to the very end. I ended up going with the artillery area because I didn't see any military signs or anything anywhere else near that area. So I actually flipped back to the legend, and I thought the legend would help me on that, but it didn't mention, it just basically said a prohibited area. Um, area of high hazard or something like that so i end up not really being very sure about that one right there what else is in there i did ask some questions about the um being able to if you're you're turning what's the bank i know at one one question i thought the answer would be 60 degree bank like what it was like what and what bank or what turn 
what degree turn of your aircraft would did you have ex extreme change, basically what it was. And I thought I'd come across, in my studies, it was 60. That wasn't an option. Um, I think it was 20 degrees, 30 degrees, and 45. I started off at 45 because that was closer to 60. But then I ended up changing after I went back. I changed it to 30, looking at that chart. And also, just remember that it was 60, but maybe I made a mistake. That, and it ended with a zero, and um, I put 30. I don't know if I got that right or wrong. I'm not sure. But that's one to, to kind of pay attention to, or just to kind of spend a little time looking at. Um, what else? Know your numbers. They were in there, but I guess I don't remember them so very well because I kind of just breeze through them. I mean, you just know your numbers. It didn't ask me anything about six registration, how the license or all that. Just I spent so much time in that book. Oh my goodness. I don't know. I'm sure I'll, I'll remember later on, later on. Anyways, thanks for watching and I will make some more videos about all this. Thanks for watching.